let's make the turn on the high side. Post Mega Store, huh? What else did Greenland have? I guess I'm shooting through here without really looking. Pharmacies, restaurants, subway. I don't see anything I would risk my life for. Not at this stage of the challenge. Goodbye, zombies. Nice spot for a campground. <laughs> Let's go camping right across from the mega store. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This is where a uh, 50 cal roadblock shows up ahead of me. I have to go back through that crowd again or deal with the roadblock. Nice full APC would be good right now. What is with the road? Be Road's being chopped up. Weirdly connected. And we'll go down and see if we can get on top of a silo. Pair. Oh, out of, out of duct tape again. Damn it. I keep running out of duct tape somehow. Can't repair my mirrors without my duct tape. We lost one mirror. The other one's damaged. I sure didn't hit many things. It seems like more damage than I usually get from that small amount of collisioning. I don't have to do that back and forth, back and forth stuff anymore. <laughs> Fire Lookout Tower. Nice openings in the road network. But we could use this later to get to the south if we had to. A library. Ooh. Hmm. One more library might finish off uh, the books that we need. Rumford, we already mapped and knew about. We've got a short trip through there. So we've we've made it through the only difficult part, mapping-wise. So we, we now know we have a clear path all the way over to where we need to go. We might stop and take a look, see if we have a chance to get, uh, get to this library. Pro I don't know if I'd be able to wait for nightfall, if that would help me any. We still don't have night vision. Oh, actually, before we get moving, what was preventing me from making duct tape? I don't have the uh, the recipe. <laughs> that would be the, the main thing. The lack of the recipe. I can't do applied science. possible to put shocks on the mirrors? It is. I just haven't gotten around to making shock absorbers. I need uh, steel plating, I believe, in order to make the shock absorbers. I haven't come across a convenient source. And I lose the mirrors so often, I just don't often care. Six survivor zombies, two bar guests, spiked pits. What am I looking at here? <laughs> Is this a survivor camp? Must be a survivor camp. Where are the pits people are falling into? Guest. 
Yeah, I don't want any part of these guys. Oh, they're around what's supposed to be a cave entrance? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was a cave. It is actually a survivor's camp. Alright. Our way around the back side, see if we can keep from riling up the neighbors. I can quietly get into this n corner here. Hmm. <laughs> Naturally, somebody's breaking down the walls of the house. I thought I had a pretty clean entry into the library just to do a, a quick loot and scoot looking like that's not gonna happen yeah let's stick with the wood axe <laughs> miss, miss. We'll do it the smarter way this time. Oh, didn't quite manage it. Yeah, I figured as soon as I moved up. Bad stuff in the alley. Everything. Uh -huh. You didn't poison me. <laughs> Fortunately, the blast might have attracted something else. Ooh, a moose. That's what I need to bring to town. A moose. Let a mad moose do my work for me. Damn it! Stop slipping around the edges of the vehicle! Else was showing up there. Now the spitter zombie saw me. I think I saw a uh, dissolute devourer. He's in the house. I'm not terribly worried about him. I can outrun him pretty easily. Theoretically. Well, that's a whole bundle of joy I didn't expect. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Now we are leaving. You guys can bang on the side of the vehicle if you'd like.
Hmm. What happened to the shock zombie? Did he somehow get killed? Oh, he got fused. Shock zombie fused with the devourer. <laughs> Good job, devourer. Good job. <clears throat> Oops. Put some 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 damage on my poor vehicle here. It's really hoping. Whoops, we're going for a ride. <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it all the way to the building. Come on, you. I just want to get you a little further away from the, uh, from the town. Bungaloids. More right in the spot I'm trying to go to. Yeah, it's going to turn into one of those endless. Every time I come back, there's more and more and more. <laughs> so it's probably not worth the effort. Again, there's no reason why they should be piling back here. I'm not making a huge amount of noise. We'll do one more run through, and then I'm probably just going to bail. Correct. Each time he absorbs somebody, he gets a little bit stronger, a little more health. I'm not sure if they do more damage or not. I haven't seen the actual statistics. There is a maximum that they'll grow. They hit a limit at a certain point. Oh crap, I think I'm sliding again. Squad zombie shows up late. Sig Pro! Clothes I don't care about. Yep, don't care about any of that stuff. Not sure I can get going fast enough before I hit a wall. Excuse me? Excuse me? A skeletal shocker? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A little confused there. <laughs> when did skeletal shockers start tossing? I think I, I thought that was the. Uh, I think they're using the same graphic for that as they are for the, uh, the the melee shock guy that I always forget his name. So I wasn't expecting a shock blast to come at me. Don't think anything else fun will have hit the ground that I care about. Alright. Can I make it? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh. Hmm. Can't go 
in and over this way because that's going to expose me to this whole area. As soon as I hit this corner, I'm likely to get seen from that direction anyway. I'm hoping he's just following his own little happy trail there. Eek. Break a window to get in. Oh, it's a shredded library. All this work. Maybe nothing but uh, leisure books. <laughs> and one Fletcher's friend. Yeah, that's uh that's not worth it. Amateur radio for home enthusiasts. That one we can use at least. Look at theory. I think that is going to be it, likely. Zombie Hulk. Yep, that's it. All right, we're out of here. So it wasn't too bad, I guess. Electronics. We did have early electronics already. Oh, we got knowledge level three, but I haven't done the practical. Got it. So we took a bit of a hit. Let's get a bandage thrown on. <laughs> a wrench! A wrench just laying out there next to the car. Uh, diesel? Diesel! Look at that! Nice! Heavy duty cargo truck. Um, I guess it's time to empty all that water out then. Hey, Zamp42! Thank you very, very much! Ten gift subs dropped in the channel. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll take it. That's acceptable. 
But again, thank you, thank you. Here's some uh, limited edition zombie dogs. Don't mind me, I'm gonna uh, toss some clean water right onto the ground. All right, to rack up to 55. I could I could do with some more. Don't think I need anything else. Alright, so we've got to uh, go electric boogaloo our way right through this town. Talk office, talk office, pharmacy. Nothing I need to stop at. Almost wish I could just come down here and cut right through there. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to, though. Well, kind of defend, depends on the back fence behind this building. Yeah, look at these streets. These streets are getting rough. Just do it. No time like the present. A straight shot through until we have to make that turn. We're gonna do an S curve right there. That's gonna be the most dangerous point. Having a vehicle right in front of me is also not good. Hmm, not liking this arrangement. Wonder if I can pull these guys this direction and then circle down at it from the other side. Hitchhikers, please. That's all I care about. Already passed the first doctor's office. That is not the one with the auto dock. That is the same as the other one, I think. Nope, that's not the same as the other one. I think this one is the one with the auto dock. Yeah, that's the one with the auto dock right there. So if you're looking for, if you're infected and you're looking for a doctor's office, that's the design you want right there. Go down through that door, let you into the back area, and then uh, there's a stairs somewhere over here. And you go up, and the second floor's got a doctor's office. Either a fall sting, ding ding's worth. <laughs> Thank you very much for the generous donation. Happy Friday to you also. Hope you're having a good one. Let's smush a headless horror. Oh, this is the cur this is the turn we have to make? Oh, we're already there. Uh alright. No problem. Easy turn. As long as you don't mind light posts. We are through. Okay. Next up. We're gonna leave the road here pretty soon. See, what the hell? Another one of the sporting sites with no baseballs or footballs or anything. We need a ball. <laughs> any kind of ball. Uh, not quite any kind, but baseball, basketball, dodgeball, volleyball. We need a ball. We can practice our dodge skill. Wasps. 
should probably stop and fix the vehicle here pretty quick too. Do it away from all of these swamp critters and wasps. We've well and truly destroyed our mirrors now. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate when I don't have the materials handy because it keeps me from just being able to hit R to get everything fixed up. this is a much slower process. Alright, be good to get a few uh, things of glue or duct tape. So we're heading to our second second refugee center out of the three that we require for the challenge. We already know where it's at. We're just trying to get to it. We'll have to backtrack quite a ways. Up and over, I believe. Up this way, then back down this way, and back down this way, and that's the refugee center right there. I'm hoping to get all three of the refugee centers done this evening. It's gonna take a bit of driving to find that third one. <clears throat> Then we can focus on the uh, the Transcoast Logistics Facilities, checking out the new labs, basically. Although we'll probably die horribly right after entering the first one. Hey, zombie soldier, what you doing out here? Okay, back south. <laughs> Duck tape. <laughs> it is tape for ducks. Hatchets, oil lamps, mess kits. Uh, I mean, pretty fun, but uh, not things we need. Slavering coyotes. Spite ears. So do they have, they do have the extra legs. Like last time we saw them, I couldn't see them very well. Look at all those stumpy legs. I think these things are insanely fast. It says much faster than you. Does that mean much faster than me while I'm in my Humvee? <laughs> or just when I'm, you know, running. Where are you going, spite ears? Wow, they're fast. Look at that. I'm doing 16 and they're outpacing me. Bump up to 20. They're still outpacing me. <laughs> 25? I'm finally gaining on them. Wow. I can't even imagine how many attacks those things have per round if you try to melee those things. They're going to get like 8 attacks per round. Those things feel faster than the horses. And the horses get 6. Do we have Zomborgs? An Exodi Quadruped. Exit a worker. Hey there, quadruped. Enormous quadrupedal robot seems to be cobbled together from parts, most of them unfamiliar to you. It moves with heavy, oddly ga graceful gait, its footsteps leaving shallow craters behind. Bristles with an arsenal of weaponry. While it doesn't seem to be in a rush to target you, it would be prudent to keep your distance. Man, they're really making me want to shoot that with my 50 cal. And the worker, mostly humanoid robot, robot equipped with various construction tools. Yeah, I have not yet uh, really started fiddling with the Exodii. <laughs> I've been told that's supposedly the correct pronunciation. Exodii. 
so in chat, question was, is Transco's facility the new lab? Yes, it's, it's the first initial implementation of the modular lab system that's going to replace the old science labs. So if you don't know, they're trying to phase out the old science labs. There's just things about how they're built and how they work and or don't work that they can't fix simply. So they're wanting to just replace that whole setup with a new one. Um, so the Transcoast Logistics Facilities are the, the start of that process. And there's been quite a few updates. I haven't been following them real closely because we haven't been into one yet, so, but yeah. So these things, uh, if you look right here, it shows the name, <laughs> Exodii. I just been calling them Exodi, but um, yeah, this is the this is what you have to go look for when you want to deal with bionics nowadays. The whole compact bionic module system is being retrofitted and retconned into uh, a new storyline where these are the guys that brought it that technology to Earth. They're, they're trans-dimensional, alternate Earth, robot, cybernetic people. <laughs> and there's going to be a faction for them. You can do missions to get uh, to just kind of like hub, the hub stuff. So, ah, still being rolled out. They're still working on it. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen the quadruped before. I'm not going to mess with it for this particular run. We'll, we'll do a, a more focused run with this content in mind. Uh, once I think they've got a little bit more interesting stuff actually added in. So for now, unfortunately, we're just going to drive on by. Don't want to risk the uh, current challenge poking at Exodii. So this is one of the new facilities right here. Grand's Coast Logistics. So it's kind of like, uh, I think, Refugee Center, or Refugee Center, Research Facility. Um... So it's got a, a big complicated upper area and there's different gates with different cards necessary to get access and there's underground sections and all that. But I haven't actually been into one with a character yet, so that's one of the things we're, we're open to accomplish with this particular run. Okay, I need to go southeast, just a whole bunch of southeast from here. We'll do a drive-by of the parking lot. you got up here? Regenerating zombies? Eh, nothing I care about. See now. We have a, uh, a rift. Hey there, rift. There's a hole in the world. Hair in reality. He goes scouts. So, big parking lot, and then there's a large building right there. Not yet. Soon. Soon. Hunter killer zombie. So, soldier body sight. Did we already kill these guys? <laughs> We're back in areas we've traveled through before, so a bunch of MREs, IFAX, dead zombies. Um, I think these zombies got back up again. I think I had smushed or killed them previously, so I, I don't think they're going to drop new stuff. But we'll just keep driving. Okay, getting close. We need to go around this way. I won't be able to get through here.
give mirrors. Hmm, two perfectly clean storage batteries. Do I care enough? The meth. <laughs> Lots of meth. Um, I guess I don't really care. If at some point these get damaged again, I'll have to rip them out because they'll drain, but I don't have a lot of power needs for the vehicle anymore, so easy enough to find. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, yeah. All right, inboard mirror number 47. Oh, apparently I got a lot of inboard mirrors. <laughs> I didn't realize I still had a bunch. No more blind spot for the next five minutes till I ram something again. All right, it's just pretty much south of me. We'll have to run in along the fence line or through the fence line again. Bloated zombie where? Right there, huh? That's inconvenient. Let's see. Keep that out. Need to double check to make sure this is the empty one. Nothing to read. Cool. Ooh, I don't want to approach her from this direction. The zombies are back here. Let's go this way. And again, we're not going to steal their gas. This looks like the exact same setup of vehicles. It's exactly the same. Is it preset where the vehicles are at in the refugee center? That kind of surprises me if it does. I thought it was randomized. Hey, buddy. What do you got? You got a makeshift machete? Duffel bag? Molly pack? Another pickaxe? Fire gauntlets? <laughs> Marilou Yo-Yo Newsome. Well, hey, Marilou, have I got a deal for you. For the price of absolutely no dollars, here have a e-ink tablet PC chock full of cool recipes. Hundreds of books. Well, maybe not hundreds. Quite a few books. Six liters. Three so it mixed up the other info, but the vehicles seem to be in the exact same position. All right, we're not going to steal anything. Ah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't, uh, I didn't curl out to the other direction. Uh, I don't know if I'm fast enough just to leave those guys behind. Maybe I am. Oh, they got distracted. We should be okay. Without having to. Me having to go get all shooty shooty. Hey, zombie. Am I faster than you two? I think I am. Okay, two is done. I don't think I'm going to be able to get around this thing to get down to this because the fence line is going to keep me from getting back to the roadway here. 
Looks like we might have another connection right here or right here though. So we'll come across and hopefully we can cut through here and get to the roadway. Let's find out. Am I misunderstanding? A Menafiz is posting a Men Without Hats reference? He's trying to slip a Men Without Hats reference past me? No way! Not possible. Yeah, let's go up this way. <laughs> yeah, me and probably maybe two other people got that reference. <laughs> Two others if you're lucky. Alright, so we do have a good uh, road network. Looks like it's going to dump us right into a big city. We'll go down and take a look at it. I'm at the point now where I need to get another map. It's not that old. Or, you're kidding me. That, 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 that music is from the 80s. Pretty sure it's the 80s. That counts as old. <laughs> is it 80s? Maybe it's the 90s. I can't remember. What is it? Safety dance? Somebody can look it up. <laughs> Evac shelter, huh? Hmm. One thing I don't like is we got a city to the south and we got a river running north-south. It's going to keep us from moving that direction easily. Don't need anything at the evac shelter that I can think of. We're going to have to do a whole bunch of driving so that we can get to a new overworld map section that will then have access. Oh, wait. I'm somewhat screwed because we got to turn around, actually. I need to I need to finish that quest for the computer to, so that we can later check out an evac shelter to get a new quest for a new refugee center. I think that, that that'll work been so long since I did one of these where I visited multiple refugee centers. But I think I need to finish this one in order to free up the quest marker. Refugee Center 1. Mission Reach Refugee Center is complete. Alright, so now we've got that cleared. Uh, I can't even remember what the... What we have completed, failed. Alright, so now I think if we hit a new... We're going to drive for a long time. Make sure we're on a new uh, overworld map section. And then when we hit a refugee or an evac shelter, I should be able to check the computer and it'll point me to a different refugee center. That's the hope. That'll help us out. Whoa, almost took out the tree. Okay, now we'll continue this way. I'd like to go in a diagonal. Southeast is what I'm currently picking until it tells me I'm not allowed to go that way anymore. That's more likely to get us across a uh, over a world map section border. Uh, unfortunately, all the zombies spotted me, so we'll just keep moving. Uh, 
this is a park? That's a park. Not a house. And now I'm spotted. Not seeing anything in the town I care too much about yet. Fitness gym might have one of the things I need for training, but too dangerous. With the uh, advanced evolution we put in, plus the time that's gone by, the cities are way too rough for this character to try to go into. Alright, yeah, look at this river. It's a massive north-south river. Only one possible bridge across it that I can see so far. I'm not going to try to drive through that town without getting a good look at it ahead of time and knowing I have an option to go completely through it. Which means... Got a problem. Hey, look. It's an evac shelter. <laughs> Wonder what uh, refugee center it'll point me to. So, I can roll north and hope that this crosses. And this is all new territory out here. So, I mean, at least it's taking us somewhere where uh, we might benefit no turrets please no roadblocks jeez how many evac shelters mirrors uh oh <laughs> the mall <laughs> they tucked the mall back on this side of town I get the wing mirrors without only thing that's got attention is the duck guys don't mind me let's hope the uh bridge doesn't have a military encampment on the far side interesting okay let me let me change the word interesting to absolutely terrible <laughs> terrible wow i wasn't expecting that kind of an arrangement so we have a bridge off to the north radio tower <laughs> a bridge to the middle of the river just to get to the fishing shack or boathouse or whatever that is. That's a fun little boat rental location. <laughs> and there is a road that continues south from there. Alright. First let's see if we can make it across. Nope. Well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. I'm going to have to do some clearance. So we've got a military roadblock on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we're going to go... We're going we're gonna to cover it. We're going to go through the north corner here. Uh, before we do... I'm going to take a peek at it. All the magazines are empty. I don't want to deal with the mines. Wow. Shotgun book, huh? Eh, 
That should be more than enough. I don't think I'm getting any use out of the firefighter belt. I don't think the wood axe will go on it. Nope, it's going into the bag. Nope. <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. All right, let's go up and around it. Just to pull them in a different direction, away from the bridge. You has diesel? You do not has diesel. is coming at me. That's the Flesh Raptor graphic now. Pretty cool. Alright, so I can't quite just scoot through here. I can get to there and then diagonal my way through. Lakeshore here is going to give me easy access. I thought I wouldn't be able to do this from the way the map looked. I didn't think Lakeshore was grass. <laughs> Apparently Lakeshore means grass. Wasps in sight so far. Okay, not good. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go north. That would have been rough. So east is proving to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Big pain in the ass. Least we've got a breakout area here. And there's a lab. Ooh, it's even a science lab. I'm not sure if this 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 should be an unrelated anthill. Not directly associated with the lab, but we might still end up with uh Ants in there due to proximity. Then we also have a fungal tower. Rural house and a big city. No other roads. Yeah, this is this is not great. Not great. Gun store right at the outer edge of town. <laughs> Near the Mego Scout Tower. Antique or pawn shop. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep driving. We'll see what we can see. Hey there, Mr. Cashew. Uh, it, it is a very, very large, very complicated game, but it's also completely free. I mean, it's not like 
you're going to pay 50 bucks, then find out that it's not for you. <laughs> it's, it's completely free. Costs nothing. And I do a ton, a ton, a ton of uh, new player tutorial stuff, and I'm always answering questions here during the live streams, as well as on the CDDA Reddits and Discords and so on. So, I wouldn't be too daunted. One of the beauties of the game is that um, you can tailor the gameplay to your preferences. You can make it harder, you can make it easier in a thousand different ways. And uh, there is no getting around that it is fairly complex. If you want a very, very big, very complicated game that you're going to be able to play for a thousand hours and still not have seen or done everything, yeah, unfortunately, comes along with that is a complicated interface. Can't have the one without the other, really. It's not really a realistic way of making it uh, too much simpler. Uh, we got a semi. Hopefully we've got some gas in the semi. More wing mirrors. Diesel. Give diesel, please. Rip off, rip off the wing mirrors. Heavy duty tow cable. I don't need a heavy duty tow cable, thanks. And also realize uh, the person you're watching has played the game multiple thousands of hours, so I make it look a lot easier than it actually will tend to be. Just from the sheer amount of time that I've spent in the game. Uh, that's actually one of the better gun stores. Got a little bit too much attention, though. AR-15 and M1 Garand. But we got too many zombies that I've just notified of my presence. So we're going to pass that up. And this game world I'm playing in is a pretty hard mode game world. For a number of reasons, so don't be too intimidated. You you you're not going to be facing something like what you're seeing here anytime soon. Um, let's scoot down to check the pawn shop. See if we might have free easy access to the pawn shop. So that's the pawn shop. So far, not much over here. Any chance? Uh, there's a bit of a crowd just north of it up here. And now we're seeing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get into there without attracting some of that crowd unless I can divert them some other direction. Or pull them out and run them over. And then approach. But I don't know if it's worth it. I could, I could just position the vehicle to shine the lights in here to see what's on the shelves. Leaveless leather duster is the only thing I can see so far. Put the headlights on. Let's see if we can get a look. Chances are pretty low. So I'm probably not going to bother. I can see most of what's in there already. Eh, let's not bother. 